I've spoken many times about the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Month after month, as Gaza was being destroyed, I and others have called for greater access for aid trucks and the protection of civilians and aid workers. I've called for an indefinite ceasefire. President Biden has called for a ceasefire. Vice President Harris has called for a ceasefire, and so has the UN Security Council. And Prime Minister Netanyahu has ignored it all. The humanitarian crisis has grown steadily worse, and the war is far from being won. Netanyahu's strategy in Gaza is reminiscent of that famous quote of an unnamed U.S. major in Vietnam who said it became necessary to destroy the village in order to save it. That's what's happening to Gaza. It won't work here as it didn't work there. Nobody, nobody disputes Israel's right to go after the perpetrators of the October 7th massacre. But that atrocity and that security failure did not provide license for Israel to go to war against an entire population, killing tens of thousands of defenseless people, targeting aid workers, preventing life-saving aid from getting to the victims, all while the hostages remain trapped underground, not knowing if they will survive another day.